We're actually going to move now um, uh, to New Zealand for a minute. Russell and Jen Stark are very well known in the Buteyko field, having um, taught the method um, in, New in New Zealand in the mid-1990s. Um, and they've taught courses all over the country. Um, Russell, you hosted the first Botago conference in Hastings in New Zealand in 2000 and actually arranged for, for, for Professor Botago, his wife Ludmilla and their son Dr Andre to actually come out to uh, New Zealand which was uh, a fabulous uh, opportunity for all of us and I'd like to show some footage before asking um, Russell a couple of questions. Napier Airport and a highly unusual yet emotional scene is about to be played out. Russell Stark and his wife Jenny are here to meet a visitor from Moscow, a man they're convinced saved not only Russell's life but the life of his son Robert. If he looks more like a character from a James Bond movie than a scientist, there's a reason. It's only the second time Professor Konstantin Buteyko has seen the West. Russell Stark. It was like this man, you know, saved my son's life. Like, we wouldn't be looking at my son today. That's a pretty powerful reason to be grateful. Well, we are. We were, um... That's uh, why we got him here. And hopefully he can have some influence. Have you thanked him? We yeah. did last night. We did last night. The professor and his wife, Ludmilla, don't speak English. I'm sure many of you have seen uh, snippets of that uh, New Zealand tape. It's an absolute wonderful tape. You became Botago practitioners, obviously, from what we heard then, Russell, uh, because of your own health and your son Robert's health. Could you give us um, a bit of background to that? I had asthma since I was about 13, or that's when they diagnosed it. I probably had asthma a long time before that. And... Uh, and I was about 40 when I went to Earth work. I learnt the method. It wasn't. I didn't learn it for myself. I learned it for my son, who was uh, 15 at the time, 14 at the time, and I was taking massive amounts of um, medication, and he was just getting worse and worse. At 18 months old, he was diagnosed with asthma. As soon as he started coughing, it mean you'd sit up all night, making wait until his breathing settled down. Steam seemed to help, so we'd put cushions in the bath. He'd sleep in the bath, and one of us would sit up for half the night, keeping all the steam going, you know, like boiling kettles and so on, in the bathroom. And then the other one would take over. All this sounds like the actions of a couple who thought they might lose their child. It was scary because, you know, like it's really frightening when, when, some, when your own child can't breathe. Yet the Starks say both father and son are now clear of asthma and they credit an idea that started behind the Iron Curtain. Can you tell me, just your phone number? Yeah, Someone help me, please. As the BBC series Superhuman what explains, asthma, asthma attacks occur when the body overreacts. It treats harmless things like pollen as though they were dangerous infections. The airways become inflamed and swollen. This narrowing makes it harder to breathe. Asthma can kill. 134 New Zealanders died in 1996. One in every six of us has it. We're one of the worst afflicted in the world, among them the Starks, and they know the lengths asthma can drive you to. We just pulled the carpets out and then they did further testing and then we were supposed to be allergic to the chipboard in the... The in formaldehyde. The formaldehyde in the... In the what's, of course, we tested positive to it, so out came the kitchen. It was a pure wood kitchen. Then a couple of weeks later, a couple of months later, we were supposed to be allergic to the uh, fumes of Teflon you, know, you get from plastic and so we out went all the plastic containers and all the nylon shirts my son was We had to have glass containers glass you know like storing stone. food and and, and this is standard instead of practice we, this was well we were desperate so did it fix the asthma no the asthma got worse and one night that was it we all one our first night, we just about gave up our Ventolin, and after that, we just kept getting better and better. So I trained as a practitioner, and in 2001, well, about seven years later, we brought the professor out to to the conference in in New Zealand, so that the method wouldn't be lost. His influence on this practitioner, as we knew, he was in his last stages of his life, and 
Um, it had been, you know, there's so much influence on the uh, method, how it had been watered down in certain ways that we had to get it from back from the source. And that's where the Institute played a lot of the roles. Thank you, Russell. And um, certainly Russell and Robert have, have been an inspiration um, to the Botago practitioners and indeed uh, people who see the movie, uh, the, the uh, DVD.